everybody, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. I uh, just thought I would jump on and show you my craft room makeover video. Um, I filmed a couple months ago uh, my room and it was a disaster. Um, I've slowly been working on it and I finally just filmed the reveal. Like, it's all clean. This is the cleanest it's ever going to be. So yeah, I just thought I would jump on. Um, I just got home from work. Milo's down here being a needy Nelly. You will see him later. Uh, he's waiting for Daddy to get home. Um, so yeah, enjoy. It was a mess. It looks great now. Very, very happy with it. And I hope you enjoy. We'll talk to you soon. Back in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to videotape my messy room. And this is what it looks like before. Um, as soon as you walk in, I have this mess. It's stuff for my embroidery machine. I have to go through that. I don't know how I'm going to organize that. Um, maybe if I can find some empty bins and sort it, I'll do that. Um, next thing I have is this little table. It's just a dumping ground for stuff. I have an ironing board set up because when I'm making my um, zipper pouches on my embroidery machine, I have to flip them inside out and then I have to close the seam. So um, I usually just fold this up and store it behind my door. Um, a lot of this stuff I'm not even using anymore. It's when I was right into card making and stamping up. I might have to go through it all and do a D stash. Um, maybe do some yard sales this summer. Um, like I have a lot of storage in this room, but it's just it's just a disaster. Um, this is mostly stamping up and card making. This is all my trimmers. I have a lot of trimmers. And then this is all my zippers and my snaps for my snap tabs and everything. So I'll probably keep that in there like that. Um, this is where I film all my videos. This is my chair. Those are staying. This here, it's my friend gave this to me and it's full of um, beading stuff that she is not using anymore. So I have to go through all this and decide what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to get rid of. That'll probably take me half a day just to sort and do that. Um, there's my embroidery machine. Under here, it's just my sewing machine, um, thread, stuff for my resin, when I used to do my polymer clay earrings. Under here, it's just, it's mostly ribbon. I gotta go through that and donate it or I'll have to make like a huge D stash pile of what I'm gonna sell what I'm going to donate. Um, under my table, it's yarn. Um, stuff that hasn't sold at my markets, I got to just either get rid of it or donate it or sell it. This table, <laughs> it's a disaster. It's um, my polymer clay oven for my earrings, stamping up paper, my die cutting machine, um, oh my god, pictures of me when I was young and my Rottweiler that I used to have. Um, she was my first dog that I ever got on my own, so she was like my baby. She was my baby. Um, I lost her in 2003, so yeah, so I have that. Um, I should put them in better frames and hang them up. Um, I have a silhouette cameo that I haven't touched in probably a year. Um, but yeah, fabric, 
remnants. I got to, you know, I don't like throwing out scraps because I, I can use those, right? But stamping up paper, uh, embossing folders, like fabric. Like this, this, my craft room is a hot mess and I don't spend much time down here because it's a hot mess. But there's like, recent parfait chunky order that I got in the mail still down here um, this is stuff that hasn't sold this is stuff that I've made in the past two weeks stuff that hasn't sold so I, I just gotta go that's overstock a Grinch that didn't sell yeah th like this room is a hot mess um, what do I have over here uh, more market stuff that I have to go through most of this stuff is stamping up and I had this storage built. My husband built me this storage over just over two years ago. Um, I can store a lot of stuff in here. Honestly, it's probably mostly crap that I don't use anymore. So paper, I have so much paper. Boxes of envelopes for my cards. Like, it's just, it's stuff I don't want to deal with, and I throw it in drawers. That's, that's stuff I use. That's cardstock. But in here, it's all, like, cello bags and packaging. Punches. These are coasters that I made that didn't sell at my markets. Um, like a four-pack of coasters. Like, I don't know. Like, do I keep making them, or do I stop making them? Those are all my stamps. That's all my paper. Like, it's just... I'll get in the corner of the room. It's a pretty big room. But it's a hot mess. So, I'm off work today. I'm off work tomorrow. Um, I'm going to slowly start attacking this room. And I'll show you updates as I go. And then I'll show you, once I'm completely done, I'll, I'll show you that video. And this will be like a whole room makeover. Um, but I'll have to do it in stages, obviously, because I got so much stuff to go through. But I did go on Amazon today and I bought an electric yarn winder. And I watched two videos on YouTube um, and it looked like a really good machine um, I think with taxes and everything it was $114 so when I get that maybe I'll do a little video of that um, I got so much yarn to wind and try to organize this is so daunting I can't even tell you how daunting this is I have yarn in like three different rooms of my house and I need to either A, stop buying yarn and use what I got and get rid of what I'm not going to use. Some of it's crap. Some of it's, when I first started out, I didn't really know what I was doing and I haven't touched it in years. Like some of the acrylic yarn, I just got to let go. Some of it I'm, I'm going to throw out because it's, it's old and I don't even think anybody could use it, but. Yeah, so I'm going to start tackling this today and I will I will give you an update on my room in stages. Hopefully it goes well. Happy New Year everybody. I'm filming this on January 1st, 2024. See you in a bit. Okay, so it took a long time, but I finally got my room finished. And it is a lot cleaner than it was. So, I added a cube system that I got on Amazon. Just ignore my puppy dog. He's being a needy Nelly. I just got off work. So, I filled this with yarn. Then, I have my desk where I do my filming 
And my husband attached this little shelf for me last night so I could attach my ring light because before I had it attached right here and it was kind of getting in my way. So he attached that for me. Um, my pegboard, I'm still not really happy with. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to order some peg baskets and put some of the stuff in baskets because it just, it looks, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And then I have under there, it's my sewing machine, my polymer clay oven, my thread, all that kind of stuff. Um, I have another lamp here for more lighting. I usually just have it up here when I'm not using it. And then my half wall, I just got some stuff that I want to keep displayed. I got Wendell, my little Toronto Maple Leaf sky. Um, this is my embroidery machine. So I just leave it covered when I'm not using it. And then I have poop bags that um, I sell with my poop bag dispensers. This is just all my Stampin' Up! paper, designer series paper. And then I have my die cutting um, plates and embossing folders. Um, I mean, I don't make cards very often anymore, but I still make cards for Lisa's Floral Shop, so I gotta be able to make cards like last minute. This is just a big tote that I have all my fabric in for my zippered pouches. And this is where I decided to store all my vinyl. Um, if you remember when I started filming my messy room, this was the first thing that you walked into. So I got that all cleared up and looking pretty. And then I just got some pictures of my kitty cats that I used to have. I got a cute little flower arrangement. Um, when I used to work at Michael's, I left Michael's in 2014. I actually bought those owl canvas prints when I worked at Michael's. So those have been stored somewhere for probably, well, since 2014. So I finally got those hung up. And this is what I've been excited to show you. I got new blinds for my windows and then I got a new mural for my back wall isn't it gorgeous I love it I absolutely love it so my thought behind the, the mural was when I'm filming you guys really have nothing to look at because this is what is behind me when I'm filming and I might take, like, I have a couple of bunny plushies. I might actually put a bunny or two over there. Let me just grab this bunny. And we'll see what that looks like. This is such a long table. I find it really hard to access it. But maybe I'll put a little bunny there. And maybe I'll put one on the other side as well because he is kind of my mascot. But yeah, my craft table's pretty big. And when I had this room designed, it was designed for stamping up. And sometimes I like to craft standing up. So I built this table standing height. And then um, this is my back wall unit. I got some stamp, mostly stamping up stuff, but I also got some yarn. Um, I got my yarn winder here. Um, so yeah, this is all my Stampin' Up! stuff, and I'm not ready to part with that yet. I still make the cards, so, but yeah, so I'll get in the back corner and I'll take a, a full scale of my, my room. This is as clean as it's ever going to be. 
It will probably never be this clean ever, ever, ever again. What do you think, baby? You waiting for daddy to get home? Puppy waiting for daddy to get home? He's so cute. Bye, Lau. <laughs> but I love, love, love my back wall. So yeah, that's my uh, little craft room tidy up makeover. Um, eventually, I might get rid of that folding table on the back wall. And maybe get my husband to build me some more yard storage. We'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty happy with um, the way things are right now. So I think I'll probably just leave it like this for a little bit and live with it and see if I can make any changes for the better. But this is my most favorite thing in the whole room. My bunny. So, thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you follow me. Have a great day, everybody. Say bye, Milo. Say bye. Say bye. We think. I know, you're waiting for Daddy to get home. Daddy be home soon. Daddy be home soon, my love. Bye, everybody.